Hey guys, today I'm doing my Q&A and I am so excited. I got over 200 questions. Um, thank you guys so much for all of the questions. The last time I did a Q&A, which was about a year ago, I only got like 15 questions and I was able to answer them all in the same video. So I was so excited to get a ton of questions this time. So I decided that I think it would be a lot of fun if I did Q&As maybe once a month, like around the end of every month, around the time I put out a favorites video. So the question that I got asked by, mo by most, by far the most, and I get this question all the time in real life, is what is my ethnicity? What am I? A lot of you guys know that I'm half Asian and half white. Some of you guys think I'm Latina. Um, my father's family is of Irish descent and a little bit German and I think there's like some Polish in there too but predominantly Irish. And then my mom's side of the family is Chinese, Vietnamese, and Filipino. My great great grandparents were both from China. Then my great great then my okay my great great grandparents were Chinese from outside of Hong Kong. My great grandparents were Chinese and my grandmother was Chinese and my grandfather was Vietnamese. My Lola is half Chinese, half Vietnamese, and then she married a man who is half Chinese, half Filipino. So whatever that mix is, that's what my mom is, and then I'm half of that. Is that how that works? I don't know. So that is that. I am half Asian, and I'm very proud. My username is Daisy Hapa. Hapa is Hawaiian for half Asian. So if you guys are half Asian too, then you're a Hapa also. I've talked to a lot of other Hapa girls, and they all say that they've gotten the same kind of things that I do, like we're not really Asian, or we don't look Asian, or just all that silly stuff, which it doesn't matter. I'm proud to be half Asian, I'm proud to be half Irish, I am very proud of my ethnicity. The third most asked question is, am I in school? What do I study? Will I make videos about college? I am an undergrad, I'm 21 years old. Um, I study computer science. I would like a job somewhere in technology with gadgets and phones and computers, things like that. Um, and to get the job that I need, I need skills in programming. And as far as college advice, tip, organization videos, I won't be doing them. I'm sorry if that lets any of you guys down, but I want my YouTube to be its own project and I want this to be my way of getting away from homework and my way of separating myself from school. Like, I was, there are so many other content creators that make really great videos about college and advice and things like that. So definitely check those out. I'm just not your girl for those videos. Okay, basically, if I can read your username, then I will say it. If it's a bunch of letters or I can't pronounce it correctly phonetically, then I won't say it because I don't want to butcher it. This question is from Lauren Beth and she wants to know if I'm going to be going to IMATS LA. I will not be going to IMATS LA. I don't know when it is. I would go to IMATS LA if the opportunity like fell into my lap, but if I am paying to go to IMATS, then I'm going to go to New York because NYC is my favorite city. I'm also closer to NYC and I would just rather go to NYC. This was also asked a lot and you guys wanted to know if I have any siblings. Um, I do have two siblings. I have a little brother. He's 13 years old. I have a sister. She's 9 years old. She has Down syndrome. Um, I am very close with both of my siblings. I love them both very, very much. They are very important to me. My brother just has absolutely zero interest in being in, on being on YouTube. Um, he runs away from the camera. He hides. He turns his face away and he's asked me before to just not put him in the vlogs. He just he doesn't want to be in them. And my sister's only nine, so she's not really old enough to decide if she wants to be on the internet, so my parents just prefer her to not be online yet until she's old enough to decide. This is a good one. She wants to know if I would rather not be able to eat pho for the rest of my life or not be able to get Starbucks. And this is easy. I would pick not being able to get Starbucks for the rest of my life. I could make my own coffee, I can go to other coffee places, but to not be able to eat pho for the rest of my life would be not okay. So I could totally give up Starbucks. Gracie wants to know if I have a job and what jobs have I had in the past. So currently, no, I do not have a job. Um, school and homework are my jobs right now. In the past, I have been a secretary and I interned for the human resources lady at my dad's office. Interned as human resources, but I was paid as secretary and I did that for about a year and a half. That was probably my favorite job that I've ever had. It was 
fun and easy and I loved it. <laughs> I worked at Ulta for a, a summer, so maybe like three months. I worked at an Aveda salon. I was the front desk receptionist. So I've had two receptionist jobs. The Aveda salon receptionist job, ugh. The last and most recent job I had, I worked at The Gap for the holidays of last year. So I worked at The Gap while I was on YouTube. I worked there for about three months. It was really fun. So yeah, those are the jobs that I've had in the past. And I've also had just like your standard babysitter girl. I've babysat a lot. Steph Willis wants to know what my favorite Filipino food is. And it is lumpia. My mom makes the best lumpia. In close second, my Tita Georgia makes the best black bean soup. I have never had anyone's black bean soup that has ever compared to my Tita Georgia. It's pretty much all Filipino food. I love Vietnamese and I love Chinese. I love Asian cuisine. It is my favorite. Emerald wants to know if I have any kids planned in the future. The answer to this is not any time in the near future. I'm not ready for kids. I don't want them yet. I don't see myself having them for over five more years but if you want to follow like my friends with cute kids then you should um Steph she has three kids and Steph is a hoppa too I just okay okay um Steph has three babies and then well they're not babies they're children but she has three kids and they are so precious she has one that's a baby but okay I'm rambling Steph has three beautiful children and Kara has one little baby boy he's not a baby but like <laughs> Kara has a very beautiful son too so if you want to follow my friends with cute kids, you should follow Steph and Kara. Can't say your username again. Um, but she wants to know who my celebrity fashion inspirations are. And I am a huge fan of Rosie Huntington Whiteley style. I like her because it's very casual, but it has an edge. It's always in loose tops, no bra, pleather pants, heels. Her hair is always like beachy and just wavy. Love that. Julie wants to know if I could live anywhere, where would it be? And that's easy. It would either be New York or Chicago. Kayla wants to know who my favorite YouTubers are. So, aside from my friends, because they are my favorite YouTubers, obviously, all in my click bar, my favorite YouTubers. Um, if we were just talking content creators that I've never really like talked to, but I've admired for years, it would be the Young Turks. I love Anna Kasparian and I love Chang. SXE Phil, I love Bart Kwan and JoJo. Like, I am Wildcat, Ace Joe Delirious, Manos Gaming, PewDiePie. I love MKBHD. <laughs> uh, I love YouTube, I love content creators. This was also asked multiple times and you guys were asking what um, inspired me to start a YouTube. And I've actually been watching YouTube since 2007, like back when it was just like SXE Phil, The Station, Lisa Nova, Kasim G. Um, and the only makeup channels were like Candy Johnson, X Sparkage, Michelle Phan, like all of that. And I have always, always wanted a YouTube, but my dad told me I couldn't start one until I was 18 years old. And then I ended up not starting one until I was like 19 years old and 11 months when I started my channel. It's a very fun hobby and I enjoyed a lot. Uh, but the specific thing that made me start a YouTube, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. It's just watching other people's videos and, um, yeah, not sure how to say your username, but she wants to know if I've ever been to Canada, Van if I've ever been to Vancouver, Canada. No, I have never been to Vancouver in Canada, but I really, really, really want to go. Vancouver is actually probably one of the top three cities that I want to visit. Kristen asked, what are my favorite and least favorite things about YouTube, and where do I see my channel going in the future? So my favorite thing about YouTube is Definitely the friends that I've made. I've made some of the best friends ever and like met some of the internet met some of the nicest people that I've ever encountered in my life. Um, and then you guys, um, there are some of you that I remember your username. Some of you I don't know your real name because your username is like some word and then numbers, but I will recognize your username. And then some of you guys, I have, you have been with me since the very beginning and every time you are there without fail giving me comments on my videos and I want you to know that I see you and I remember you and that's really special to me that you guys have been with me since the very beginning so that's been awesome and as for where I see my channel in a couple years, um, in 2015 my channel will make a transition into a fashion channel 
don't worry, it will always have hair and makeup and monthly favorites and things like that, but um, versus having beauty tutorials, I want to do more style videos. I'll always do makeup tutorials and get ready with me, don't fret, um, but rather than being predominantly a makeup based channel, I will make a full transition into a style channel because that is what I truly love. I started this channel with the full intention of transitioning into a fashion channel. It's just, I'm trying to get the footing right. It's difficult. Like I said, I don't have a tripod. It's finally gotten to the point where if I want to make this transition, I need to buy a, tri a tripod and I need to buy a studio light. I would love to be on like roomy Neely level, um, but I know I have a really long way to go. Gwen wants to know what my favorite TV show of is, what my t favorite TV show of the moment is, and it's currently Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I, I guess you guys would know by now that I'm a huge fan of com comedy. Comedy? I was going to say comedy. I'm a huge fan of comedy. I love Andy Samberg. I love Chelsea Peretti. And I love the guy who plays Boyle. I also really like Terry Crews. Um, amazing show. I really like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's so good. And then I've also really been liking American Horror Story. I just recently got into that. Like Those weren't even all my favorite TV shows. I could make a video dedicated to TV and film. Actually, it would have to be two separate videos. One about TV, one about film. Megan McKinley <laughs> wants to know what my favorite fall nail color is. And I mentioned it in my I Love Fall tag. It's been uh, Seduction by Revlon, but I've also really been liking Wicked by Essie. Oh, you're using me? Okay, this, your username is like the alphabet or something. Um, she. <laughs> I am so sorry. I can't read usernames. This is where I need to get Final Cut Pro because then I can like have the comments show up on the screen and be like. But she wants to know what my favorite song is of the current, like what my current favorite song is. I love 2AM by Adrian Marcel. And you guys are going to make fun of me. I am solely on the Childish Gambino train, but I really like 3005. I did not know that the guy from Community was Childish Gambino. This is another question that got asked multiple times, and this is, how did I get my hair so long? Um, okay, when I was 18 years old, my hair was long. Not as long it is, as it is now, but it was the longest it's been before the way it is now. It was long, okay? I thought it would be fun to go platinum blonde, so I told you guys my dad dated that hairstylist. Um, she tried to make me platinum in one process. I think she was doing it to be mean because that was like around the time her and my dad were going to break up, so I, I feel like she did it um, because she knew that her and my dad were going to break up or something. I don't know. That's just my speculation. But and she fried my hair. I had to cut it off into a short bob, and it's just been growing out ever since. As long as I take care of my hair, it will get very long. I do know about terminal hair lengths. There are certain people that have terminal hair lengths that are, you know, here, and some people just don't have terminal hair lengths. I'll show you a picture of my mother, her hair when she had me, and like down to her, like past her butt. I mean, like probably past her calves. It is not that long anymore. My mom has like short, cute hair now, um, but. I don't know. See, this is why I need Final Cut Pro. There's my mom, and you guys can see there's her hair like way down there. My dog, Ozzy, she's a golden retriever. We don't have her anymore. She passed away when I was in second grade. She's named Ozzy after Lord of the Rings. Um, my dad is a huge Lord of the Rings fan. That's why I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I will get very emotional if I start talking about this too much, but um, if I see like other golden retrievers and they mind me and they remind me of Ozzy, I'll just like I'll get very emotional like. I've started crying sometimes. She was the best dog ever. You can ask Megan and Liz. Um, I grew up with her. My dad got her before I was born. Um, I don't remember how sooner, but she was a puppy, and uh, I grew up with Ozzy, and um, she passed away from stomach cancer when I was in the second grade. That was a question about hair, and I'm talking about my dog. <laughs> okay. One that was also asked a ton, and it's how did I meet Megan and Liz? How did we become friends? And basically... Uh, I was three years old, they were four years old, and I was at McDonald's with my mom, and my mom let me play in the McDonald's play place, and then they came in with their mom, and our mom started talking, so we started playing together. I think our moms set up another play date for us. I don't remember my mom telling me that they were going to go to the same school as me, which is weird, because the very next day, I remember I was sitting at my table with my classmates and coloring, and then Megan and Liz walked in with their mom, and my teacher was like, everybody meet your new classmates, They're Megan and, it's Megan and Liz, they're twins, and I was like, 
they're my best friends. I'm really lucky to have best friends like them who have been with me through my entire life because we've been through everything together. So that's how I know Megan and Liz. Marlene wants to know, do you play any sports? Currently, I don't play any sports. Um, I was golfing like two years ago and then recently went to the driving range with Lucas and Dylan and I was horrible. Absolutely atrocious. It was embarrassing how bad I was and I used to be super good at golf. My dad has all these videos on his computer of like my awesome swings. Um, in middle school, I was a cheerleader. I was a flyer. Uh, other than that, not really. I work out, but I don't play sports. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I had so much fun. Um, please ask more questions. Be sure to come follow me on Twitter and ask me questions for the next Q&A and then I will favorite your tweet. Hashtag it at the end. Ask Daisy if you want it to be answered in next month's video. And the next time I do one, I would love some more like random questions that don't pertain to hair and makeup. Don't forget to come follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll have both of those linked down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.